Hi guys! Today I'd like to show you two techniques to use this particular type of rollers or conical hair rollers. I have mentioned them in some of my previous videos when I was showing you how to create updos for curly hair. And I really like this type of rollers for multiple reasons. So first of all, I think they create more beautiful curls than cylindrical hair rollers. Then the curls obtained with any type of hair rollers generally last much longer than the curls obtained with a curling iron. And finally, you can avoid applying any heat to your hair when you use hair rollers if you have enough time to wait for your hair to be completely dry. It might take you five or six hours, sometimes four, depending on your type of hair. So I'm going to show you how I use these rollers and normally I use two techniques depending on what kind of curls I want to obtain. My hair at the moment is completely dry and this is how I want it. I've prepared some water here to wet my hand in this water and then use the wetness from my hand to dampen each section of hair on which I'll be applying my roller. Normally I don't have a bowl of water but I work near the sink where I have an easy access to water. And now I'd like to focus on the two techniques. Depending on what kind of curls we want to obtain, we might want to apply rollers either from the roots or from the ends. So if we want to get round, bouncy curls, we want to apply our rollers starting from the ends. So imagine I've dampened this section just a little bit, then I go to the end of the section, secure its end on this self-grip part of the roller, and start rolling my roller just like so. If your hair is layered, then you have to be careful and just make sure that all the layers um, go nicely onto roller. Once you reach the ends, you want to secure your hair with this pin that comes with your rollers. So this is the first technique. If you want to get spiral curls, which look completely different from those round bouncy curls, you want to start applying your rollers from the roots. And in this case, you just go on like this. Once you secure your roller in place, you might want to additionally secure the end of the section with a clip, something like this. I don't need to do it in case of the top sections of my hair, but sometimes with the bottom sections of my hair I do this, because the ends of my hair, especially from the bottom, they're more silky smooth and they wouldn't want to stay alone on the self-grip part of my roller. In order to show you the difference between those two techniques, I'm going to apply my roller starting from the ends on this part of my head and starting from the roots on this part of my head. I want my hair to be curled away from the face, so it means that uh, in case of the application, starting from the roots, you go right away from your face, over here. And in case of application from the ends, same thing. So the hair goes away from the face, as you can see it here.
Now I'm going to blow dry my hair for something like 20 minutes. Then I'll still keep the rollers in my hair for another 5 minutes. This way my hair will cool down completely and the curls will last longer. So only after that I'll remove the rollers. Please don't worry if your hair looks a bit weird at this point. It will definitely relax, just give it another half an hour. And in order to speed up this process, we're going to be pulling our curls down with our hands. Once we separate the curls with our fingers and somewhat reshape them to give them more natural look. So I'll be taking my curls, separating them and turn around my finger to keep the curl. Because if we just separate it, it's, it's not something good looking. You have to reshape it. In fact, it's better to start from those bottom curls. Here I'm just getting my hair somewhat more straight near the roots. I'm trying to help my curls merge um, naturally for a more natural looking effect. So finally, these are the curls. And if you remember, on this side, I was curling my hair starting from the ends, while on this side, I was curling my hair starting from the roots. Now you can choose which technique you prefer by judging the results. So this is one side, and this is the other side. Or if you like them both, you can alternate the technique every time to get different type of curls. Well, anyways, every time I need to prepare my hair for some hairstyle that needs to be done on curly hair, I pretty much always go for these hair rollers. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my video today, and I see you soon. Bye-bye!